Hey girls and guys, it's Sarah from Sarah Let's Play, and we are back with another episode on the Chaos Craft server. What was that? I was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and today we are going to be finishing up our roof. Well, at least getting the main parts of it done because I finally figured out how I'm going to do it. I decided to um, go ahead and place torches up here while I'm at it because I do not want mobs spawning here later on in the future. And for some reason, it seems like the roof back here is off. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. The, the little clay block is supposed to go a lot higher. So what we're gonna do is kind of make it similar to the front, how we have a point here and a point there. We're gonna make a point here and a point there, and then right here, it'll be flat, and it is gonna look beautiful, because if you watched um, the episode when Ricky was in a, uh, and I did uh, the nether thingy thingy, you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we got some quartz and stuff, which I actually have his there, I never gave it to him. Oh my gosh, I am so not nice. Um, I need to give it to him though. I did save it for him, don't worry, don't worry. Um, I thought, you know what, I might as well do this now. And this is actually quite tricky because, ugh, I need to figure out where to put them and they need to be even. And I would really hate it if I get all of this done and I go look and it's not working. That would not make me happy. So by the time we're watching this, Ricky's already here in America with me. He's probably like behind me or something. <laughs> we're probably just chilling like villains. Um, but yes, he is here and I would be so, I'm gonna be so excited. Well, I am so excited because he's already here. This is actually being pre-recorded. Oh my gosh, because this is going up when we are on the cruise to Mexico. So that's why, because we can't really record on a big ship. You know what I mean? Uh, whoa, 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 okay, this is wrong, this is wrong. Let's take this down. What is off right here? Okay, th this is supposed to go like this. Ah, okay, I've got it, I've got it. This is supposed to be down. Ooh, why does this not make sense? Uh oh, I think I know what it is. And we're gonna leave it alone for now, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna fix it once I get back down. Because it is fixable, but it's gonna be time consuming, so I'm not gonna do it on camera. So let's go over to the other side, finish this off. Let's hope that this matches, please do. Please make my life easy and work, please. That's all I'm asking, is for you to just miraculously just listen. And this one should be easy because it's not too too big of a, of a place. Uh, there we go, boom. Okay, oh, this one didn't work either. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do to fix it. Let's go ahead and make the point just so we get a better idea of what it's gonna look like. And then all around here, we need to go ahead and place our quartz, which go around here like so. And boom, boom, boom. Perfect. And then do the, do I have dirt? Yes, I do. I need to see what it's like on this other side. Is it just, okay, so then the blocks start there. Okay, so then stone brick, I'm not gonna do all of it because it's wrong and it'd be no point, I'd be wasting my time. So it's gonna go like this. All right, so let's go down and see how we could fix this because it has to be the same. There has to be this gap right here so that we could put the slab and it could actually look right because it has to be the same height. Does it have to be the same height? Huh, you know what? Okay, I wanted to I wanted to have a quartz slab in the middle, but it doesn't have to be the same height, it doesn't. Because of the way we're gonna do the roof, it's gonna look beautiful, and it's gonna be, they're not, it's not all gonna be the same size, if you know what I mean, like there's gonna be different heights to it. So that's gonna, that's how the roof is going to be, but we need to extend this wall, one over this way, and then this wall, Either they need to be made shorter or longer. I think I'm gonna make this one longer, so I'm gonna place this one here like this. Whoa, zombie, I see you're, look, you're dumb. 
You just burned yourself. I didn't even do that. You did that to yourself. How does it feel to know you killed yourself? That's not very nice, zombie. Mm -mm. And then this one will be done over here. We'll move it over here. And then for the roofy part. Okay. All right. We've got it. This is going to be great. Let's go look at it from all the way over here. All right. This is good. I think it'll look really nice. And then what I'm hoping for is this part will be pointy, then it'll be flat. It's going to add some dimension to the roof instead of it just being all the same. Because I know a lot of you guys were like, it still should look like a roof. And I agree with you. Even though I'm horrible at roofs, it still should look like one. Especially, especially since this is supposed to be a traditional house. So let's actually do the roof without doing the other bit. Because I think we actually can do that. See, if we do this and we move this over like this. Gosh, I really need to get my tools. Oh, we can get a good one. We'll, have, well, we're level 22. Not really, can we? Uh, let's go over here. And this one's getting moved over, isn't it? So that'll go here. And then all of this is going to go like that. And then we'll have this one extend out this way. And then back. Oh, I thought I was using regular blocks. And I was going to be so mad if I was. Because it was going to ruin my life for a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go like this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Good. This is going to look fantabulous. And I'm still, I'm still procrastinating on getting more clay. I hate mining blocks without an efficiency. I hate it. It's the worst thing ever. Okay, so then here we put the stair. I'm scared. I don't want to fall. So yes, that was smart. Put that there. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> okay, there we go. I saw one stair that looked weird. This one here. I need to fix that. So that's going to go there like that. And then we said this one we're going to extend one out. So basically... We're gonna have it turn here. Ugh! There we go. Sorry for all the weird noises. It's in my jeans. I was just born to make strange noises like that. I promise. Okay, then. And then we don't have to change the other side at all. Why do these look like solid blocks? It's really confusing me right now. There we go. So, you guys, what do you guys have planned for your winter break? Do you know when your winter break is? I don't know how, like, I always ask you guys that question, right? And a lot of you guys are like, I don't know when winter break is. I'm like, when I was in school, I always knew when winter break was because it was like the time I was looking forward to the most. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go um, let my cat in my room because she was scratching my door. Cats are very demanding people. They're very demanding. For, for some reason right now, my cat's been very clingy to me and she's been around me all the time, which I don't mind because I love her to bits. But... My gosh, she is just so cranky if I don't pay att or any attention. Does anybody else have cats? I used to think I wasn't going to be a cat lover until I got my cat. And then I realized, how could you not love a cat? They are evil, but they are also so adorable and loving and cute. One day, right? She, and she's never done this. She, um, Fluffy's never been a cat that is very... She's not a lap cat at all. She's very independent. She kind of likes her own space. If she wants attention, though, you better give it to her. So, you know, I give her her attention. But um, I think it was a couple days ago. She got under the covers and she just cuddled next to me the whole entire night. And I woke up next to her and I was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> who needs babies when you have a cat? You know, <laughs> but yeah, I still love dogs, though. I think I would always... I don't know. I think like when I see myself when I'm like 40 or something, I can see myself having a cat and a dog. I can't choose. I'm an animal lover. I love all animals, even the ones that scare me to death. I still I still care about them. So I think I would get um, a cat and a dog because they're adorable. All right. So there we go. I want to build it up a little bit just so that we can get an idea of what it's going to look like and if we like it or not. So let's go ahead and do that just just for a few little like levels well it's only okay this might make it easier as well to decide how to do the roof in this middle section that's what i'm hoping for and a lot of, well i posted a picture 
of my cat recently on Instagram and people were like, I didn't know you had a cat. And I was like, I thought everybody knew I had a cat. But um, yes, I have a Scottish fold. I got her about six years ago, I think. Ooh, it was when I graduated high school, which is in 2009. So yeah, six, six years ago. Oh my gosh, I'm old. I gr- That's a lot of time, you know, six years. But yeah, I got her six years ago. Um, and she is, okay, you guys probably know what a Scottish Fold is if you've seen Taylor Swift's cat, because that's a Scottish Fold as well. I got one before her, I'm just kidding, (laughs) but I did, but never mind. (laughs) Yeah, but I got her, I got a fluff a long time ago, and she's still such a sweet cat. Um, I am worried about her sometimes, just because, not now, not like that she's ever gotten sick or anything like that, but she did have respiratory problems when she was a kitten, and I've always kind of I've always paid attention to that, especially because Scottish Folds have like a short nose. They don't have the long nose that a normal cat has. So, of course, it makes sense that their breathing might be a little bit, you know, affected by that. But she's she's a healthy cat. She gets along with Dusty. She runs the house, though. She is the boss. When I had my rat, though, uh, yes, I had a pet rat and she used to play with her all the time. They used to just run back and forth and it was the cutest thing ever. And I still really, really want a guinea pig. But because I travel so much to England and stuff, I would feel bad getting a guinea pig. Because I feel like little animals like that, they need a lot of care and attention. Like I was saying, Fluffy's quite independent. So when I'm gone, my mom takes care of her. And if she needs something, Fluff's there like, come on, lady, feed me. Do this for me. I want attention. So she's she's, she, you know, she's a grown woman now. She, she knows what she wants. But with something like a guinea pig or a rat or even like a rabbit, you need to give them attention all the time. And it's a lot of maintenance because you have to clean their cages and stuff like that. With a cat, you just have to feed them. You have to, especially with Fluffy because she has long hair, you have to brush her. But it's not as time consuming as like as a guinea pig or something. So that's the only reason why I haven't got one yet. But I really, 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 really want one really bad, really bad, really bad. I'm hoping I could get one soon. And if I can, I'll be so happy. Yes, I would. There we go. And let's go ahead and finish this off. Because I, I could I could get a, another one. But then I just feel like it's unfair to the animal if I can't give it the attention that it deserves. That's one reason why I've always said if I do have a dog when I'm older, I want to make sure that I'm home to actually give it the attention it deserves. Dogs take a lot more attention than a cat, in my opinion. Um, you have to walk them. You have to give them their exercise. They, they get anxious when you leave them. And I even noticed that with Dusty. Like, she much rather be in my room, even if it's just me just talking like in a video. You could just tell it relaxes her if she could hear my voice. So, I don't know. I, I would feel bad having a job from Monday through Friday that was 40 hours a week and I didn't get to see my dog and no one was there to take care of my dog. I think that's not fair. Um, but I do think it's, I think it's good. And I think it's good for kids as well. Like when a kid grows up with an animal because it teaches you to care for something and it, te- it teaches you responsibility and all of that good stuff. Okay, so here we go. Here's how the roof is going to go. So see this part here is higher. So I'm wondering if I should continue that on. Hmm. This is where I'm in a little bit of a pickle, you guys. Maybe you guys can help me out. This should go all the way across. And then this should go all the way across, shouldn't it? Or that's supposed to come all the way down here because there you can't put a roof here anymore. So let's see. If I put this here like this, because that's how it's supposed to go normally, like that. This one is supposed to extend as well. This one's not supposed to continue on any higher. This one's supposed to continue on all the way up to... To where? Hmm. Let's extend these little quart um, slabs a little bit, because this is... I'm getting confused now. I thought I had it down, but right when I thought I had it, Minecraft was like, no girl, 
this looks wrong. I think I have to start a different section, like a different, let's call them pyramids. Every time something changes. See, like right here, it was really awkward because it's off by only one block. So what would go here? Ah, what if we do this and then right here, we start the other side, what is supposed to be the other side, which is a stair like this. Okay, it's gonna go like this. Whoa, 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 I'm placing blocks everywhere now. Which I know is wasting blocks and it's not good, especially with quartz, because I don't have too many. All right, so let's see this real quick. But to me, that looks so strange. Because technically, what would I put here? Hmm. Could do it like that. But does that look weird? Oh, yeah, yeah. What am I going to do here? See, these make sense. I could just put stone brick there. Let's go to the back of the house, actually. And see what we got going on back there. So confused now. Don't know what the heck to do. Can we jump in the water? Should we risk it? I don't want to die again. Oh yeah, we can here. Oh no! Wow. I would I would be that person that dies. Definitely. Don't have me jump across a bridge in real life because I will fall down the cliff and crack my head open. Let's take a look at this. That that looks nice. I am happy with the way that looks. Just ignore the fact that it's not aligned right now, but that doesn't look bad, does it? All right, so I think we're gonna leave it here. I'm gonna have to figure out the little, the little quirks on the roof, but I think overall we've got it down, which makes me very happy. Alrighty guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Chaos Craft server. Bye.